Hi guys, what's up and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about lipsticks and not just any lipsticks, but the best ones to keep in your purse. If you're anything like myself, I am obsessed with lipsticks. I always have to be carrying something for my lips in my purse, my backpack, wherever I'm going. So a lot of these ones that I'm going to be sharing with you are from personal experience. So I hope you guys are excited to hear before I head into telling you my favorite lip products to keep in my purse. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I upload videos twice a week, Tuesdays and Sundays, so I'd love to have you back here. Now let's jump into all these great lip products. All right, so I actually have nine to share with you all today. I should have just made it 10, but I couldn't really find one that I was super confident about for number 10. So rather than throwing in one that I didn't feel like was a super great one to keep in your purse, I just left it at nine. So let's go ahead in with number one. And the first one is actually a gloss. So this is the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Cream. And I'm obsessed with this. I just recently got it in April, March maybe, when the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale was going on. I have mine in the shade Hot Toddy and it is kind of this nude pink color. Um, if you watched any of my previous videos, you may know that I was expecting this to be a little bit more nude and brownish. I really like this stuff because it does give your lips a little bit of a plump and just enhance them a little bit, but it's not anything that is too painful. So when you're out on the go, it's not like your lips are going to be burning off and you're going to feel super uncomfortable. Um, I do like though that it gives it a little bit more definition because you just feel a little bit more put together when you're wearing this. Um, I think these are like $21, so they're a little bit up there in price, but I do find that it is really worth it and this is always one that is living in my purse because I will throw it either on top of a different lip color or just wear it by itself because it is just so pretty and they do have a lot of pigmentation too so it's not like it's just going to be a clear gloss or like a faint pink gloss on your lips depending on what color you get but I do really enjoy this. Gosh happening to my voice there. Um, so this is the first one that I think would be great living in your purse. My next recommendation is something that is a little bit more affordable than the last one. So this is the Burt's Bees lipstick. I have mine in the shade 502 Suede Splash. I was obsessed with this lipstick a while back and then I ran out of it and just neglected to purchase another one because they used to sell these at Target and at Ulta, but I can't find them at either of those places now. You probably would have heard this spiel if you watched my empties video, but I do have to hunt for a new one because I think the formula is so comfortable to wear. It is more like a, a balmy sort of texture than like your typical lipstick texture, but it's definitely not a lip balm. It has a lot of pigmentation to it, so it's definitely gonna give your lips a little bit of color, but it is super comfortable to wear, and it's a nice formula that um, you can kind of glide it on easily, and it just doesn't feel like it's gonna be a big mess, especially if you don't have a mirror, if you're traveling or something, or in the car, or just out of the store. Um, so it's definitely a great one for all of the places you may travel to and a lot of the colors in this line as well are pretty nude and neutral so it's not like it's going to be a bright red like this one where you're going to need a mirror to apply it that is probably one of my biggest tips with purse lippies definitely go with something that is close to your lip color whether you have pink lips or more of a nude brownish lip I would definitely go with something that you're not going to notice little small details if you mess up and definitely go with something that is a little bit more of a creamy formula so it is easy to glide on your lips and this is definitely one of those ones. Next up we're going to talk about another gloss shall we? So here I have one of the color bop, color pop, not color pop, color pop glosses. This is in the shade Moon Child. This is definitely more of a nude lip gloss, but I think it is so pretty. It's one of those ones that you can just wear on your own. For me at least, I find that nude lipsticks are something that are really hard for me to wear by themselves because I feel like they just make my lips look really light. They don't mesh with my natural lip color too well and it just, I look kind of sick when I wear them, but this is definitely one of the ones that I can wear on its own. It has a little bit of a pink tint, but nothing, it's not like a pink gloss by any means, but it just matches with my lip color in particular so well, and I feel like this is the only nude gloss that I can wear on its own because it's just that pretty. It's definitely a little bit more of a sticky formula as most of the ColourPop lip glosses are, but I find them just really comfortable to wear, and the color itself um, is a great one to apply on the go. Like I said, it's more of a 
nude so it's not like you're gonna have a big mess when you're applying it without a mirror and the ColourPop ones are super affordable as well and they have so many shades so definitely check them out if you're looking for a new gloss for your purse. Next up we're going to chat about a lipstick from a brand that I actually don't know much about so this is the brand Context and this is their lipstick in the shade 101 Come Clean and I got this in one of my Ipsy bags and since unbagging it, it has lived in my purse. I haven't taken it out, but this is a great lipstick formula. I wish I knew more about the brand to kind of give you a little bit more information on them. I don't even know how much this usually costs, but this is definitely another one of those balmy formula lipsticks and the color is pretty nude. It's a little bit light, so I do have to be careful when I apply this because it can make me look a little sickly <laughs> since it is such a light color especially with my skin tone, but I absolutely love this formula. Like I said, I keep it in my purse all the time. Usually I put the lipstick that I'm wearing that day in my purse whenever I go out just so that I have it to reapply, but when I forget to put it in there, I always reach for this context lipstick because it is just so comfortable and I find that it looks great with so many eye looks and just when you're not wearing any makeup at all because it is more of a nude and just fresh makeup look. Or fresh lipstick color. I will have this and everything else linked down below too if you want to check it out. Highly recommend these lipsticks as a little purse lippy. Next up we have another gloss. So this is the Marc Jacobs gloss. Mine is basically empty. I don't even know if I can get anything else out of it. I don't know what this shade is anymore. I will try to find it online and link this exact one down below because there's like no sticker or anything left on this because I've had it for so long, but this is another gloss that I always keep in my purse. The Marc Jacobs glosses are one of the most comfortable lip glosses I've ever worn. They're just so pleasant to put on and they're not sticky at all. They just glide on so nicely and they definitely stay in place. It's not like a lip gloss that's going to run outside of your lip lines and it's great to use as a topper for other lip products as well. So that is why I love it. I always keep it in my purse. This is a little bit more of a lighter shade so I don't always like to wear it on its own but I like to keep it in my purse just to touch up my lips. Um, usually as you probably know, most lip colors kind of stay on a little bit after you're eating or drinking something, but you kind of just have like that outline around the outside of your lips and it's mostly gone in the center of your lips. This is a great lip gloss to throw on in the center and kind of just blend with the residue of the other lip product that you have on your lips. It always looks so nice. They are a little bit more on the expensive side, so if you want to try them out, I definitely recommend either going to get a sample at Sephora or finding them in some sort of value set or just getting one of the little mini guys to test out. This has lasted me a very long while too so it's not like the mini size is going to run out super quickly so I definitely recommend these and they're one of my favorite glosses. Next up I have one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. So this is the Sephora, I think it's called the Rouge Lip Lacquer. I could be wrong about that, but I will definitely have the correct name up on the screen and I will have them linked down below too. But I am obsessed with this lip product. I got it last year at the Sephora VIP sale in the spring and I have loved it ever since. I have mine in the shade Visionary and it's just this really pretty um, kind of everyday reddish terracotta shade. These are definitely very balmy and very glidey and they're just so comfortable to wear and easy to apply. I really love these ones for on the go wear. Like with most of the other lip products that I mentioned already, this sort of formula just lends itself to be a great purse lippy. It's not gonna take a lot of effort to put on and because the formula is definitely more on that sort of balm side with a little bit of shine, it just is so much easier to apply than like a matte lipstick or a liquid lipstick, especially when you're on the go. So this is a great one to keep in your purse. I definitely want to pick up some more shades in this line from Sephora. They're pretty affordable too for being Sephora since it is the Sephora collection. They are a little bit cheaper than most of the other lip products sold at Sephora. I think these are like $14, $15, so definitely a little bit more expensive than like drugstore lip products, but it will last you a good while and I promise you it will be so comfortable to put on and they have so many shades to choose from, so you can definitely find something that is either a little bit more bolder if you are into those sort of lip colors or something that is a little bit more neutral or like a your lips but better shade. So, so many to choose from and the formula is great. I 
would definitely recommend it. I recommend it to everyone that asks for just a nice everyday lip product. So this is one of my absolute go-tos and this one and all of the other ones that I purchase in the future will continue to live in my purse 24-7. Next up, I have another gloss to share with you. So this is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. Unlike all of the other glosses and lipsticks that we talked about previously, this one is not going to give any color to your lips. It is simply a clear lip balm, but the simplicity and the packaging of this just lends it to be a great purse lippy, especially for the summertime. Like many of you, I usually don't do full faces of makeup in the summertime unless I am going somewhere or doing something special. So while I always love to have something on my lips, Sometimes a pigmented gloss or lipstick doesn't always lend itself to be the best no makeup lip product and this is where this one definitely steps in. I have mine in the pear scent and it smells amazing. Side note, I find myself always wearing this in the summertime whether I just want to throw it on to run out to the store or hang out by the pool. I even took it to the beach last year and I found that it was a great product to keep my lips hydrated while I was in the sun. but. I can't say enough good things about this. The packaging is so easy to, um, the packaging makes it so easy to apply. It's in one of these squeezy tubes. Mine is running very low, so I'm gonna have to pick up another one. I wanna try the peach one. I think they have pear, peach, grapefruit, and maybe one more. I know a lot of people like to wear the Laneige lip sleeping treatment, the one that is like the, the overnight one. Um, just every day as sort of a lip balm, but that one is in a like a tube, a, a container that you have to dip in and then apply it to your lips. And I hate doing that when I'm in public. First of all, I don't know what is on my fingers, especially now with COVID and everything, you definitely do not want to be using your fingers to apply lip products in public. So I love that this is in a squeezy tube and just makes the application process so much cleaner and so much easier. So this is definitely a great one to just have on hand all the time and a great one to keep in your purse. Two more left. So the first one is this Smashbox lipstick that I'm actually wearing right now. So this is Smashbox's Be Legendary lipstick. I would not recommend the red shade as an everyday lip color unless you are super good at applying lipstick without a mirror, but the formula is more so what we're talking about here. I feel like a broken record because I'm going to say the same thing as I said about all the other lipsticks, but this is definitely a balmy sort of lipstick. It is so just easy to glide on. I find that with a lot of lipsticks that have a sort of shine like this one does, they are much easier to apply than other lipsticks just because they glide on so much nicer and it's just much more easy. It's much easier to put them on without a mirror. And I find that when it has a sort of shine like this, it doesn't matter as much if you are not super precise up here by your cupid's bow or even around the sides here because the shine kind of distracts you, your eyes from those sort of portions of your lips, at least just in my opinion. I only have a little mini size of this one. I believe I got it in one of my Ipsy bags, but I can't imagine that the full size would be any different of a formula. Mine is in this shade Legendary. It is this red color that I have on my lips right now. I definitely wouldn't recommend the red color, like I said, as an everyday lipstick, but they do have a lot of different shades in this line, so you can definitely find something that lends itself to be a better everyday sort of pinky, nude, brownish color that is a little bit more forgiving to apply than a red out in public when you don't have a mirror or just want to do it super quickly. But this is definitely a very comfortable lipstick and one that I would highly recommend keeping in your purse if you are a lipstick person. The final lip product that I have to share with you is probably the one that I stand behind the most out of all of my purse lippies. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Color Splash lipstick. This is definitely by far the best lipstick to keep in your purse. The formula is out of this world comfortable. It is so easy to apply. It definitely has a little bit of a shine like this one does, but not as much. It's just right in between being matte and kind of a glossy lipstick like this. I have mine in the shade uh, Siesta, but they have so many different colors in this line. It is a little bit more of an expensive lipstick, but the formula will blow you away and you'll love it so much that the price really won't matter. It's not like it's super expensive either. It is like in the $20 range, I want to say, which is definitely up there for a lip product, but it's not like $40, $50. So this is the shade that mine is. 
this line definitely has some bolder colors. I know they have some reds and a little bit of like deeper brown shades, but most of the colors kind of linger in this sort of pinky nude range. And that is partially the reason why I think that this is just such a great purse lip because there are so many different nude shades. You can definitely find something that meshes well with your skin tone and with your natural lip color. And like I said before, those sort of shades are so much easier to keep in your purse because they kind of blend so well with your lips that it's not like you have to be super precise. Like with a red like this, you have to make sure that you're getting all in the contours of your lips and not overdrawing them too much or putting too little on that it just looks kind of odd on your lips. So this line definitely has great colors for pursed lipsticks and I just love it so much. I will definitely be repurchasing this shade after I use it up and I can see myself buying other shades in this line too because I just love the formula so much and the packaging is so cute too. So that definitely is always a plus but this is one of my favorite purse lippies and one that I can't recommend enough. So that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all of my recommendations for the best purse lipsticks and I hope you guys found it helpful in some way. If you love any of these products too or if you have any other purse lippy recommendations definitely leave them down below. I'd love to try them out and hear what you guys are loving but thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of this video i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel i upload videos twice a week like i said tuesdays and sundays so i'd love to have you back here and i can't wait to see you in my next one bye